guys, uh, welcome back to the Dustin Dean Homestead Outlaw Show. And uh, today we are doing a little bit of beekeeping, me and my lovely assistant. <laughs> and so um, I just want to show you this really quick. This is called the com community feeding, and um, here they are. Look how thick that is. So I know uh, a lot of beekeepers are cringing at that, uh, and um, a lot of people say, and, and I'm I'm not disagreeing it, that it's it's uh, better to feed each hive individually because this causes uh, robbing of your other hives, and um, but this yard here, this bee yard here, is actually my uh, um, it's like my swarm, those swarms I've caught and uh, splits and things like that. So they're really small, weak. Uh, every hive in here is, sm is small. And so I just figured instead of putting um, a jar on each, but we'll just feed them all out and they can go back home. They don't seem to be fighting. I mean, they're not fighting each other. They're just all, they're just all enjoying themselves uh, sugar, taking that food for them. So what we're doing today, I just want to talk about as we're going through each hive, making sure that they all have a queen. Um, two of my nukes, uh, they didn't have a queen in there. They they did. I don't know. It's like they they split. The um, uh, they swarmed and half the bee stayed here, and, and and she didn't lay no eggs, and she just left herself. So they didn't like my uh, homemade nuke boxes, apparently. So I did something that um, I know uh, a lot of, again, a lot of beekeepers would cringe at this, is I took the, the one nuke that was over here, and um, I took all the bees, and uh, this hive, so I had three hives total that has no queens. I took them, and I put them in here, and I just took frame and all, and I put the bees um, in here, I squirted them all with sugar water, and I just figured, uh, let them fight it out. Um, there's no queen and I did that with with that with them bees and I also did that with the other queenless box that had just a whole bunch of bees in it and um, they didn't fight they they're look at that this is uh they're not fighting at all this is um they're just all happy they're not fighting so basically what I did <laughs> what I've been mumbling on forever is I basically took uh, the there's three hives, they're about the size of a nuke. All three had no queens. I took two of them, dumped them in a 10 frame, and uh, filled this one up. And um, I thought they'd be like a, a royal battle. Uh, they'd be killing each other, but they haven't fought at all. And maybe it's because there's not a queen to protect or defend, but what did fight, um, I should laugh at that, uh, is that the bees that were right here, the foragers, just came over to this other box. I'm gonna watch on step when we're in my garden. Um, but they've been fighting here out front. And so that's nowhere as bad as it was, but then foragers decided like, well, we'll go move into here. And it was a royal battle, and um, and they've uh, this is yesterday, and, and they've pretty much mellowed out now. Once in a while you'll see them uh, fight. I went in, healthy queen. Queen's good, so um, they did their job, protected the queen. Not, not any dead bees in the front, so it's not like they're killing each other. They're just fighting. Um, they just, they're just looking for a home. So that's what I did. Then, and, and then the bees, I combined them all. I didn't do any kind of a method; just sprayed them all with sugar. Not, not a single fight. Always. I don't know why this is. It's, um, um, it's overcasted. Let me tell you something about that word overcasted. My mom, she's British, hates the word overcasted with a passion. She, she says that's not a word. Sorry, mom, but it's a word. It's overcasted. You got me saying that. It's overcasted today. It's, over, it's overcasted. <laughs> um, sorry, mom. I, I put words in here like that because she, she's so... Uh, proper here. <laughs> I'm not I'm the opposite of that. It's funny I'm a public speaker too. So y'all 
<laughs> we're all going over there and see what we can find in the uh, other bee yard. Okay, here we are into the bee yard. I think I want to rob this one. It seems pretty packed out up front. Of course, they do that a lot when it's overcasted or about to rain. And I think it's about to rain, so they all kind of come in at once. Here we are. I've actually, I've actually stolen two frames out of this one already. I don't think I've stolen a frame out of this one. And over there, I've stolen a couple of frames out of that one. Um, that were my doubles. Um, I've been moving towards the singles. That's just, I think it's better. I like it better than the doubles. So I think I want to do away with this queen excluder until they lay eggs. That's a trick that I forgot to do at the start of the year is when you put uh, mediums on here, it's best to start without the uh, queen excluder, allowing the queen to go up into uh, medium, that's where you have your honey. Let her lay, the, lay and uh, get some brood going up in there and then um, push her back down, get her back down to the single box. Then put the queen excluder over, and and then as the babies are born in your honey box, they will backfill it with honey, and that's a really great way to get them put storing honey above the queen excluder. Uh, a lot of a lot of beekeepers call it also the honey excluder. <laughs> get it? Okay. Uh, I forgot to smoke them. Wow. I haven't even smoked them yet. They're just good bees. Ow! 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 Son of a... Just kidding. I'm not getting stung. A lot of people ask me, why don't you wear a, a bee suit? And I, I really feel it makes you, um, you're a better beekeeper um, not wearing a bee suit. They teach you what you've done, what you're doing wrong. Now I'm getting rained on, so we gotta make this quick. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ooh, look at that. So there's honey, as I expected. There's your honey right there. Um, giving myself some working room. It didn't sting me, but it tried. <laughs> what bees do, they do two ways of warning you that they're going to sting you. One of the ways they do is they bounce off your head. Everybody knows that. Another thing that they do is they they, they land on you, and then they do the, like this waggle dance, like they're just driving their their face into you, and they just and it just flutters like like rapidly on your skin, and um. <laughs> And then, then your normal reaction is to brush it off, which pisses it off even more and stings you. And so you just kind of like, and they, they like to get in your hair and just weasel into there. And, and then they got, then they'll either shock you or just they, a lot of times they, I mean shock you, uh, sting you. A lot of times they don't sting you. They're just driving into your hair, driving into your beard or, or, or up in your eyebrow. And, and they're just, uh, they, they get you to run and, and it works. It makes me back off. Looking for eggs and a good brood. Got a good queen over here. This one's got a queen cell. It does? Yeah, this one this one's got a queen cell and it's already got a got a couple queen cells. Really? So we got options here we could do. We could make a couple queens out of this here. We could take that queen cell there uh -huh. and we could smudge her on the top of that one that doesn't have a queen over there. Yeah. And we'll have a queen in a short amount of time. Okay, so I was talking to my wife. I don't know how much you guys overheard of this, but we have a queen cell right here. If you guys want to see what a what a future queen looks like, see right here? 
see that look kind of looks like a peanut and it's long um, that there's a queen in there and so what we could do is we could break that off and we could put it on uh, one hive that's queenless and and uh, and I thought I saw another queen cell in here um, I got to make sure I have a queen in here as well oh yeah there's a queen cell right there too so if you look right here see that there it's queen cell right there too so we're just taking one queen cell is all we're going to do and that's what we'll do we'll just take a queen cell and then we'll hightail it back over there we'll put it in now come back and um maybe we can find another queen cell and we can just rob queen cells and fill up our cages so maybe we'll do that and here we go there's my queen cell put her back in here We got um, bees we need to put back in here, huh? Okay. You want to do that? Yeah. Right in the forehead. Little bastards. I need to smoke them. Remind them who's boss. Oh, scoop, scoop that over. You can't. Put that slide in there. Smoke everybody out. Remind them who the boss is. Careful. Straight up and down. So okay. you don't want to go to angle. Just like that. Straight up and down. All right. Don't panic. Don't panic. No, don't worry. They're not gonna get you. Not gonna get you. They're fine. Good job, girl. Good job. Okay, she's going. I heard these guys back up there. Get back up in there. Get back up in there. Get, yeah. Put that on. Yeah, we'll leave that off. We'll just okay. put that on there. Very good. There's the queen cell. Uh, we'll go. Uh, we'll go put her on the. Um, the other I can't believe. Seems like we're always uh, beekeeping when it's overcasted. <laughs> okay, so quickly as I can. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put her. I guess in between that frame. We'll have to pull out a frame. So now we'll just, uh, which one's the brood? Is this the brood one? I believe that was the brood one. Okay. We'll put her in. Kind of like right, right there. Hold on. I'll put this, scoot this a little closer. Not just squish. I just want to get her so she don't fall either. I can melt that wax right there. Can I take that wax? Mm -hmm. That's stuck really, really good now. Now we've, we'll check here. About a week. She should be born in about a week. I don't know. For all I know, she could be born tomorrow. I don't know how old that uh, that, cell is. that cell is. So, like, but uh, you know, I figured in a week it could definitely be born. The cell kind of looks like an older cell. I don't know. What do you think? Think that we ought to um, call it? Yeah, because that storm's going to be here in less than like a minute or yeah. so. Yeah, it's it's out all out that way, mm -hmm. all around us. We're like in the center donut hole of it all. So I think we'll call it. Bees don't like to be worked with when it's uh, overcast. Overcasted. Id. <laughs> it's overcasted. So and we did get stung today. That's and nice. My brother didn't get stung. Yeah, I think he had a good time uh, learning about bees. I think he wants to be a beekeeper, and he's allergic to it. Yeah. So um, there are beekeepers who are allergic to bees. Mm -hmm. You just have to take uh, more extra, preca precautions. extra precautions. Don't be a, a careless idiot like me, and you should be just fine. Um, although I would debate with you, not wearing a suit makes you a better beekeeper. But we'll do a whole nother vlog on that one in the future. Guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for your supporters out there. Yeah, for your you. Patreon supporters, PayPal supporters. Uh, thank you. Um, we're starting to get a, our hives built up yeah, now because, nice. because of you guys. Thank you for your support, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.